Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. Yeah, yesterday was Sunday. So, if yesterday was Sunday, then today is what? If yesterday was Sunday, then today is Monday. Yeah, today is Monday. So if yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday, then tomorrow will be Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow is Tuesday. So today, oh geez, <laughs> we caught it. So <laughs> today is Monday. The month is October. What number? What number? There's a two and a six together in this order. That makes the number 26. 26 or 26. So today is Monday, October 26th, and the year is 2020. What season is it? It's fall, yeah. And what is the weather like today? Look outside your windows. I'm gonna look outside my windows. Remember, you might have to stand up to look outside your windows. Miss Jessica, she's got a pretty good view. She just looks both ways. When I look outside my windows, I see that it's sunny outside today. I think it's gonna be about, I think I read like 77, 77? Yeah, so it's starting to cool down, which is so nice. It's starting to feel a little bit more like fall, which I'm very happy about. All right, let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people and that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, abilities, personal space, personal property, choices. We need to respect all aspects of all people. One great way to show respect is to keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you, even if you're upset, even if you're angry. Okay, next, follow the directions of all your teachers. Remember, this one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers regularly. But there's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members. They ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. We need to make good choices and be appropriate with our language and our tone of voice, even if we're upset. People aren't gonna to wanna to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And then lastly, always do your best. Yes, always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from 
day to day and from situation to situation. And your best can look different than someone else's best. But that's okay. As long as you are trying your best, that or best, that's all that matters. All right, with that, let's look at our feelings. How are you feeling today? Are you hungry? Do you have a headache? Are you cold? Are you tired? Are you hot? Are you confused? Are you sick? Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you frustrated or are you thirsty? How are you feeling? You can point or you can tell somebody. If there's a way you're feeling that's not listed, you can tell somebody that as well. Good job. All right, how is Miss Jessica doing today? I'm a little different. I'm a little hungry right now. Yeah, I didn't eat my breakfast. So that means that I probably might need to eat my lunch a little bit earlier or tomorrow to keep me from being hungry in the morning, I should eat my breakfast before I leave my house. Oh. I'm a little sad. It's true, I've been pretty sad every day since we had our last day of school. Um, but even though I'm sad, I'm trying to find ways to cope with that sadness. That sadness has to do with not seeing you guys every day and not being able to do the things that we typically do together. But even though I'm sad, when I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, and the fact that hopefully someday soon we will be back together um, and you know, doing all of the things that we missed and making up for those things and doing more. Uh, and it'll be better than ever. So. When I think about all of you and our future, that makes me really, really happy. It does. It makes me happy to think about all of you and being back together, hopefully, uh, in the future. <laughs> okay. And with that, meeting is all done. I'm going to do a reading video. Please remember, we have our 10 o'clock Zoom every morning. Um... I hope you have a good day today, friends, a beautiful Monday, and I will see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.